Dave from Rosetta. I play bass and do vocals, and uh, this is my silly, nonsensical effect setup. So I have this giant Furman board, which I think it's time to retire. On the last record, I started using a little bit less than I had on the previous two records. Um, but first thing first, I have my uh, Strymon Blue Sky Reverb, which is one of my favorites. I usually use the Shimmer, and I kept usually keep it on the plate reverb and the shimmer sort of has that like i'm not a huge fan of the band but like a u2 sort of uh edge sort of reverb thing going on and it adds a harmony i think it adds a fifth harmony which is cool and i like the effect it does and i think that lots of people don't realize that some of the things that you think are sometimes synth samples are actually coming from this pedal now, i usually keep it on the plate like i said sometimes i switch it up to the normal thing instead of the shimmer but those are the two settings I use that for. And I, right now it's on the floor by mistake. I also have a holy grail. And if you ask Eric, he hates the flurb. I actually don't use the flurb. I usually keep it on spring. And it's just a different reverb sound, you know, so I use it in some different sections. Um, but I'm kind of like a reverb addict. Those are kind of my favorite effects. So that's why I got the double setup. Uh, and then over here I have a custom chorus pedal that Matt built for me, which kind of um uh within the context of rosetta the cure is like a huge influence on me i wouldn't say they're necessarily one of my favorite bands but highly influential on my sort of writing for rosetta stuff so it's sort of like a i think he based it off one of those boss chorus pedals but just souped it up made it real real like thick nasty sort of sounding chorus that sort of sounds like ridiculous 80s music stuff uh and then i have the M mxr carbon copy analog delay which at this point I, I didn't even use it on anything for the most recent record and I'm not really using it on anything period that we're playing right now but I always kind of used it more to sort of add like a little bit of a just a texture sort of thing on a couple songs and then this is the beast uh, which actually I usually don't use to record but live it's a, a staple it's my sublime fender fuzz pedal and I like it live uh, it just adds a sort of like nastiness fuzzy sound sound to it um but in the studio it sort of doesn't just come across quite as well so it's more for live and then in the studio when we're recording i use an assortment of different pedals based on the song but this, this thing's a tank it sticks out from like 20 miles away you can see this bad boy it's huge <laughs> and and that's pretty much it you know um that's everything that i've been using recently Yes, so uh, I play a Fender Jaguar bass, and I got a really, really good deal on it. I think they were discontinuing it. I don't know if they make them again now, but at the time, they were getting rid of them, and I walked into a, just a local music store up the street from where I live, and it was like $1,000 one day, and I came back pretty much two days later, and next I know it was 400 bucks. so I kind of took advantage of it. Everything is still stock, um, Japanese-made uh yeah, pickup selectors and then a series parallel uh, switch. Uh, I pretty much run both pickups all the time in series. Um, then there's an active passive switch. I tend to keep it on passive the entire time. I don't really like the way it sounds when it's active. Um, you know, volume and tone knob, that's all there is, just the two. Um, I play a little bit heavier strings because we down tune, so I'm tuned to C standard. I used to drop it all the way down to drop a sharp but i sort of decided to tune it up and just have the low string a little bit higher so the other guys are down tuned lower than me but i just felt like it was getting a little too floppy sounding when i was going lower than c so i keep it at c right now um honestly everything is still stock on the instrument it's seen better days it's a little beat up from five and a half years of getting tossed around the world <laughs> but uh yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the deal.